hello friends in this video we will try to find the limit of the function fx defined as x by 2 middle bracket root over x square plus 4 minus x as x goes to infinity and plus infinity and x goes to minus infinity we want to try to find the limit of this function so how we will find Suppose if we are as x goes to infinity, this portion goes to infinity, this inside portion goes to infinity and this portion goes to infinity. That means here is the difficulty that this is infinity plus infinity goes to this also goes to infinity. We are getting some kind of infinity minus infinity. So here is the difficulty. So how we will find this limit? So to find the limit of this function. Uh, well, first we need to do rationalization of it. So how we will do? So we have function fx is equal to x by 2 middle bracket root over x square plus 4 minus x. So what we will do in rationalization? We will uh, multiply with the, this. Uh, let me write that x square plus 4 minus x. Uh, we will divide... Uh, we will multiply with x square plus 4 plus x and divide also x square plus 4 plus x. Now, when we do this, so we have uh, this kind of uh, identity that a plus b, a minus b equal to a square minus b square on these two. That means this will become x by 2. And this above side, this in numerator, we will obtain x square plus 4 minus x square. And in denominator, this is x square plus 4. This is till here, right? So, plus 4 plus x. So, these two are cancel out. So, we will obtain x by 2. And... Uh, uh, this is 4x and this is in denominator x square plus 4 minus x. This we will obtain. Now from here let take x square as a common. So we will obtain 4x upon this is 2 and uh, x square when we will take x square common root over x will come mod x. That is we will obtain here like this mod x root over 1 plus 4 by x square and this is minus x. Why this is mod? Because we have like uh, uh, minus 2 of square this will come 4 and 2 square also 4. So to getting root over 4 this way should be plus or minus 2 that means mod 2. Right? Now now as x goes to infinity, uh, this is positive side. So when x is x goes to infinity, positive infinity means this mod become x itself. So we will obtain this as uh, this 2 and 4 become this cancel here. So this will become 2 and this is 2x and this is x itself. So take x common as and we will obtain here 1 plus 4 upon x square minus 1. Right. Now, here x will be cancelled as x is non-zero. That means we will obtain here 1 plus 4 upon x square. This is minus 1. Now, what will be the limit as x goes to plus infinity of f of x? This is taking as limit x goes to infinity 2 upon root over 1 plus 4 upon x square minus 1. Now as x goes to infinity, this portion goes to 0, right? Because of this is kind of 4 upon x square. As x become larger and larger, this goes to 0. That means we will obtain the limit here to and uh, here we are missing something here that is plus here. So here will be plus and here will be also plus here will be also plus and here is plus 
so that means this we will obtain here 2 by 2 right so this has become 1 now this we limit as obtain as x goes to plus infinity the function limit is 1 now we will try to find the limit of the function as x goes to minus infinity now uh, as we did the rationalization of the function and we obtain the term uh, here this term so this term can can write it as 2x upon mod of x uh, 1 plus 4 upon x square plus x now what will be the limit of the function limit x goes to minus infinity f of x equal to limit x goes to minus infinity 2x upon mod of x root over 1 plus 4 upon x square plus x now as x goes to minus infinity that means x is negative and we know that when x is negative what will be the mod x mod x is minus x right so that means this term can be written as x goes to minus infinity 2x upon mod minus x uh, 1 plus 4 upon x square plus x now again we can cancel out x so we will obtain as limit x goes to minus infinity 2x x can be cancelled out and we will obtain uh, minus 1 plus 4 upon x square plus 1 now observe in denominator as x goes to minus infinity the denominator term the denominator expression goes to 0 how observe here that as x goes to minus infinity this term goes to goes to 0 right and then what will be the what will be the denominator term will be minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 so as x goes to minus infinity the denominator expression goes to 0 that means in this case limit is not exist thank you